Hey guys, welcome to another episode. It's been a while. Today, I'd like to try a hand at making a buck saw. Uh, someone had posted a nice uh, uh, picture of a buck saw that he was creating on uh, one of the bushcraft groups. I also have my son here with me. You got it, Daddy? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, so uh, a guy had posted a, a, a buck saw that he was creating, and uh, f uh, as a response to that, uh, somebody had posted this actual picture of his grandfather's buck saw, and I found that this was a very nice, uh, like a very aesthetically pleasing model, as well as the fact that it, that's a, that bent wood, that bent piece here is giving a lot of room for a very large tree for the side of the saw. So. Uh, so I'm gonna give my, try my hand at, uh, at doing this. Uh, so I bought two of these. Uh, the other one's here. So these are each only two dollars. Uh, they are uh, 21 inches long, uh, giving you a cutting surface of about uh, whatever 17 inches, or roughly a little bit more. Uh, and like I said, these are only like two three dollars at LeeValley.com. So for Canadians. Uh, looking for a very good high quality uh, uh, saw there these are really cheap and uh, but good quality so I bought two of them one for uh, green wood and one for dry wood Lenta tab. So for the last piece, we got this one done and this one done. Uh, and the last piece needs to be bent. So you guys might have seen this in prior videos. My uh, rigged up steamer. The piece of wood is in is in here, held up by these sticks that will be kind of in the middle of the stream. So the steam should be coming out of that little hole pretty soon. Works quite well.
All right, well, I'll take whatever curve comes out of that. I'll make it work. All right, so I leave that to cool off for uh, about a day. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> we have basically our two pieces. Uh, I just gotta round them off and make them nice. But that's basically, that's how it is. Now the next, the big challenge here is how to get the, uh, how to get the, these blades in, like inside. So this one's easy. All I gotta do is cut a slit, a very thin slit at the edge with a saw. Like I can take my dovetail saw, whatever, and, and get that in. But this one, it's like <laughs> right in the middle. So I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. Heating, I'm going to try uh, cutting out a, a width of this uh, into a strip and I'm going to try superheating this with a torch and I'm going to see if I can't burn my way in. I don't know if it will work, but it's the only thing I can think of to get a, a very linear slit right through that. So let's see how it goes. had time to cool off let's see if if it even kept any kind of curve it doesn't look like it did God damn it. it really doesn't look like it eh, I guess so. This is laced rawhide. This is what I'm going to be the, trying to use as a top house, a top like whatever the, the tightening mechanism, sort of a a nod to uh, traditionalism. <coughs> traditionalism. Just got to work this uh, this section here to get it a bit more a bit more rounded. Alright, so I put the rawhide in, in I soaked it into water for a good while. Uh, so let's just put this back together. Put we'll some bolt here. Uh, I'll eventually repla replace the, the ends here with a butterfly. Butterfly end so ease to uh, make it easy to, to put it together and take it apart. Eventually varnish. So let's measure it about about the right length. Get a knot in there. Okay. All right. So I tied it off properly. Now, even then, even as wet, it won't move. Approximately the length of uh, of this. I'm actually going to leave it on here so that it can shrink. Like this. <coughs> okay. And trim the ends later on.
first coat, I don't have to worry about proper finish. Like even if there's little lumps or whatnot, since I uh, I sand it, I sand off the first coat anyway. It's just the point of the first coat is just to really saturate the wood as much as possible with the finish, and then uh, we'll do a second or uh, second and third coat probably. <laughs> so actually it feels pretty darn so solid. I can call this a success. That's awesome. Not only is it beautiful, because I think it's gorgeous, but it actually works. Alright guys, this will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was uh, a little bit more technical, but uh, uh, beautiful end product. I'll get it a little bit closer. I find the it's a, uh, what is this wood again? It's a sapel, right, this, this is the wood I actually use for the canoe, for the finishing of the canoe, so it's a nice, uh, quite, it's still pretty light, but very, very hard wood. So uh, anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I had a lot of fun. See you guys next time.